Welcome back. Mangler here, continuing with Chelsea's first season here in Football Manager 2020. We're getting ready for our first match in the preseason. It looks like it's going to be against Locomotive Moscow. Mos Moscow, Russian train, I guess. Um, here's the calendar. We've got a couple games here. Due to fixture changes, they changed my schedule. Good for them. Premier Division Financial Fair Play Regulations. The club secretaries provided you with a summary of the current financial fair play regulations that exist in this competition. Teams must avoid making a loss more than 19 million over a three season period in order to comply with the financial fair play regulations. Failure to comply results in deduction of five points in the following season. The board is allowed to invest a maximum of 115 million toward the calculated income. The Chelsea board will keep you regularly updated as to what financial measures will be required to ensure the club compli complies with these regulations. Club Secretary has provided you with a summary of the current financial fair play regulations exist for continental club competitions. Teams must avoid making a loss of more than 5.54 million over three season period to comply with the financial fair play. Failure to comply is a suspension from the competition for one season. Board is allowed to invest 27.7 million in toward the calculated income. Like to meet the media. A press conference has been called at Stamford Bridge to officially introduce you to the media as a new head coach of Chelsea. I think failing to attend your first press conference in charge of Chelsea would really upset the press. Location is at the home at Stamford Bridge. Journalists include the American Soccer Post, American Soccer Daily, MaxAfoot90Minute.com, S Sport, and Planet Football. Likely talking points, yada yada yada. Press interest, media wants to know how you're getting on with your job. Um, I will attend press conference. Sure, why not? What are your initial thoughts on taking the Chelsea job? I'm going to go with passionately say, looking forward to getting to work, a lot of work to do here, proud to be given this opportunity. You stand here today unveiled as the new head coach, as a big fan of the club. Surely this must be a dream come true. Can't stop smiling, wonderful feeling, passionate. The facilities at the club are fantastic. You are excited. Are you excited about the opportunity to work in such an environment? No feeling either way. Your playing career was a huge success at this sort of level, but coaching is a new challenge for you. Do you think your experience will aid the transition at all? Um, I think so. I feel like I have a great knowledge of the game. Keen to put that to the test. It can't be an enviable task to you to follow in the footsteps of Frankie, who's a legend. How do you think you will measure up to your predecessor. Frank, it was a true great, humbling to be chosen to follow him. If I manage half his successes, I've, I've done well. It isn't easy for me to come in here to the office dugout that, that Frank made his own. A period of transition is inevitable. That's for others to judge. He's gone. Can't constantly worry about his opinion or course of action. Trust in own judgment. I'm confident in my abilities. Otherwise, I wouldn't be here. I mean, passionately say that. Does this squad have the necessary quality for you to achieve your targets? One of the reasons so keen to come here of the quality of the playing squad. I have a very good idea of what they are great capable of and what we'll achieve as a team. I have an inherent trust level of their collective abilities and look forward to 
finding out how far that can take us in the short term. I don't know the answer to that question yet. Players should have show me day in, day out in training pitch. Any head coach who says that they don't want to improve their personality over their squad they inherit is lying. And I expect I'll try to add my advocate to the quality of this club in due course. I haven't done a comprehensive review of the playing squad here, but my aim when taking the job will be to rebuild every part of the club to achieve success, and the transfer market will be a big part of that. Um, I'll go with the second one. Have you met the players yet? And if so, what is the mood in the camp? I'm going to go with calm. Only very briefly, and I can't comment properly on the mood of the locker room yet. I'm sure I'll find out. What role can the supporters play in moving this club forward? With their backing, it's as simple as that. If we can get everyone right behind the team, it'll make a world of difference. Plans, fans will play a huge part. That's They'll come here in their numbers. They'll follow us around the country on weather. We'll need that. I have to prove to them I'm the right head coach for the club. Hopefully I can earn their support. Any club's fans are the life and soul of the community, and that's no different here. Got to go with that one passionately. How far can you take this club? I'm going to aim high. If you're not intent on being the absolute best you can be, why are you even in this business? I'm going to passionately say that. How hard do you expect to work the players on the training ground? I want everyone to embrace the hard work and know that it's all geared towards improving. Will you be looking toward forward, ugh, looking toward the like of Kepa Arizabalaga as the focal point of this team now? He's a tremendous player. He'll be integral for our success. He knows that I'll want to see him. He's already shown what he's up for the challenge. We have had the very talented squad. We'll need every player to perform to the fullest every each and every week. I certainly hope so. I'm here to make every player better. Keppa can be as good as anyone. I don't like focusing on one player. If we're going to be successful, every player here will need to contribute. I'm going to calmly say very talented squad, every player of the fullest week in, week out. Will Aspilicueta remain your cop? Captain, I think so. Never had a reason to change. With some, While some head coaches are famous for their hands-on approach, others maintain a more reserved manner with their players. How do you see your leadership style? I don't think it's appropriate to discuss internal policy. I may occasionally get involved by a large degree of trust. I want every player to know they can come to me with anything. I think things work best when players feel valued as people as well as players. I tend to trust the players as adults to behave in such a manner. It is often said that different head coaches favor different competitions. Will you be concentrating primarily on achieving what will yeah, will you be concentrating primarily in achieving in the premier division? Absolutely, that competition is my main focus. Alright. Next. Matches and results. Match preview. Euro Championship, Chelsea versus Chelsea, under 23s, team selection. Alright, so who we got? We got uh, Morata, Pedro, Mount, William, Conte, Kovacic, Alonso, Rudiger, Tomori, and uh, Kepa. I think that some of these people are hurt. Let's see the quick pick and see if that helps us. Alright, so we've swapped out some of the injured players, move Conte up to an attacker. That's interesting. I guess in this formation, Barkley, Conte. Um, why is Conte hurt? Or is he just not a very good attacker? Yeah, he's just not a very good support attacker. But I don't think we have very many options because a lot of people are out. Should we put Giroud in that place? Would he be better? All these players just need practice and work. I think we're good. Why are the same major issues back here? Ask Liquita. 
Well, I'm not too worried. It's a practical game. Good balance. Okay, so mentality. Do we want balanced? Cautious, positive, attacking, very attacking. Cautious is matches you expect to lose the battle position. Balanced is most important. Balance is ex risk with reward. Let's go ahead and go with balance for now. Here are the typical amounts. This one's a little bit more intensity, a little bit less in familiarity. I think we can go with this. Again, we don't have too many options. I'll probably bring in Alonso just because Emerson might need swapped out. We'll see how that goes. Submit the team for now. Proceed to match. Dressing room. Pep talk. Hey. Calm. Nothing specific to say. Have a good match out there. A couple of players resulted, uh, reacted negatively. Zuma looks stressed. Conte seemed to lose focus. All right, defense. Let's uh, cautiously say, show me why you should be on the team. A few of the players reacted positively to the comments. Aspilicueta looked happy. Ross Barkley was inspired. Hey, how lucky is that? Um, to the midfield. I could say, show me why HBM team mean, pressure's off today. I want you to go out there and play your natural game. I want you to get control of the midfield out there. Let's do that. Barkley liked it. Conte did not. Conte is not in a good mood. Um, talking to the attack. We can say, show me why you should be on the team. Pressure's off today. Play your natural game. Go out there, grab us some goals. You can say that reluctantly, cautiously, assertively. Let's say, grab us some goals assertively. See how that goes. All right, Batshuayi says, listen keenly. Okay, kickoff. Talking, talking, whatever. All right, so I'm going to play. Looks like I'm watching. I'm not controlling the players, and they're passing the ball around. And it seems to be very slow. Let's see if I can speed this up, just because it's going to take forever. It's a 90-minute game. I'm only 10 seconds into it. Um, watching show extended highlights. During highlights, let's do faster speed. And between highlights, here we go. This is faster. It looks better. All right, so Conte's taking a shot and missing. Now we got a corner kick. Emerson's kicking it. And it was to Batshuayi. Bach and he had a header, but it looked like it didn't go in. Yep, still 0-0. Zero, zero. Kepa to Christensen. Up to Conte over to Aspilicueta. This has centered it. And Kovacic gets a goal. Yes, Mateo Kovacic. Awesome. 1 0 goal. Came off Pedro in the replay here. Kovacic right footed. Knocked it. Stuck the ball with fury, it says. Let's get the play by play down at the bottom. Oh, right off of the kick. We kicked it to Zuma, who scored. Oh, no, this is a free kick. This is a, a highlight here. Barkley had it, kicked it to Zuma, but, but Zuma was offside. Yellow card for Billy Gilmore. Hmm. Here's another corner kick from Kovacic. Did not result in anything. Conte back to Aspilicueta. The kip out of Christensen to Batswai. Conte, Barkley, Kovacic over to Aspilicueta. Center to Pedro who scores. Yes, and fantastic goal. Looks like he left footed it off to the left side of the goal. Looked like a volley there here. Aspilicueta crosses it. Oh no, his right foot. Stuck his right foot out there. Hit it without it bouncing. Yep, that would be a volley. Nice. Good job, Pedro. I used to have a dog named Pedro. Here we are. Well, looking at people, it looks like we had a... Conte gives it to Kovacic. Kovacic dribbled it all the way in. Almost scored there. On the corner kick. Got the goal. He had it. Uh, here's another highlight. Zuma, Giorgino, back to Kepa. 
Kovacic, Barkley, Pedro. Back to Kovacic to Barkley to Conte. Aspa the Quinta. Centered it to Batshuayi, who headed it right to the goalie. Looking at conditioning, we've got everybody's above 70. Batshuayi looks like he's probably the most hurt. Maybe I can take him out for Giroud pretty soon. Um, yeah, he's probably the next one to come out. Looks like the other team, Gilmore, got ooh, a shot on goal. Look at that. Hopefully these players don't get hurt. These are our future right here. Halftime, halftime report. Got two goals here from Kovacic and Pedro. Analysis says, good number of touches of the ball in the penalty area. Struggled for possession in the opposition's half. Have hardly conceded any free kicks in promising areas. Um, good things for the other team uh, are tw under 23s. Moved well into attacking third in the pitch from central positions. Um, and the best, uh, most active player, both good and bad, was Dainel Simeu. And they struggled for possession in the opposition's half. In the dressing room, I get to do a pep talk. Um, nothing to say right now would be calm, happy with, not happy with the performance, pleased with the performance, keep it going, don't get complacent, and things can turn around. Um, let's cautiously say, very pleased, keep it going. Players reacted positively to the comments. This looks like all around, that was a good thing to say. Defense, uh, they seem to like cautious, so let's go with cautious on the defense. Um, impressed with your solid defending. No goals. I guess that's good defending. I didn't watch the whole thing, but let's pretend I did. Players reacted positively, so hey, we'll take it. Midfield. Um, let's go with cautious again. They don't seem to like that. Impressed with how you controlled the midfield. Uh, Conte switched off. Maybe he didn't control it. He already was uninterested, so... Let's tell the attacking team they did well. Um, calmly say, impressed with your efforts up front. And Batshuayi was very delighted. Okay. Good to see. Um, something happened right off the break. Highlights Zuma to Batshuayi to Conte. Barkley, a kick from about 40 yards back. No good. All right. I'm um, keeping an eye on this condition over here. There's a yellow card on the other team. Here comes a throw in. Zuma lost the ball. Broha on a breakaway. Kicked it wide. All right. I'm going to go ahead and make my first sub. We're almost at 60 minutes after this highlight. Aspilicueta with a shot. And the goalie saved. Terrific stuff. Emerson to Barkley to Giorgino. Giorgino. That's what And it looks like a free kick. All right, make sub. Let's go ahead and swap out. Let's put Giroud in for Batshuayi. Is there anybody else, Freddy? I'm sure I can get more than three, so who needs more uh, playing time here? Does Emerson need out? He's got a yellow card. Let's go ahead and put Alonso in for Emerson. Um, anybody else need out? Yeah, well, let's go ahead and just call it good. Actually, Aspilicueta, nah, he's good. Okay. We're back in. Made all the subs. Play by play at the bottom. Lots of stuff going on. Yellow card. Man, they got a lot of yellow cards. They took out their goaltender. That's interesting. Here's another highlight. It's in the R half. Okay, Christensen up to Pedro. Pedro with the steal. Back to Barkley. He takes a shot right to the goalie. He likes taking shots. I can see that. That's good. Uh, let's see. We got a lot of players tired here. Condition Christensen looks injured already. Lower leg injury. We should probably take him out. I thought maybe they would tell me if someone was injured. Who else we got defense on here? We got 
Pope. Let's bring in Pope. I know he doesn't play that position, but if we play back here, and then maybe we switch positions here. Okay, so Aspilicueta is moving over. Pope's coming in for the injured player. Um, he looks tired, but I don't really have much of a player yet. Very few on the bench here. A couple of midfielders. Um, who's the most tired of all the midfielders? Kovacic is a little tired. Let's go ahead and swap him out. Okay. Confirm. Game's almost over anyway. We're at the 88 minute point. Giroud take a shot, but it's saved. Just dribbling it around here. Barkley, Gilmore, Lavinier, Gilmore takes a cross, Nunn takes a shot, Kepa with another save. Four minutes of stoppage time. Here comes a free kick from Baker, stolen by Gilmore on a break. Gilmore with the goal, oh boy. Let's see a replay how this happened. Gilmore took it on a fast break, right past the defenders, cut right through the middle, and off to the left of the goal. Wow, we gave up a goal. At least it was Gilmore. And looks like about 10 seconds left. And that looks like time's up. Looks like it's raining out there. Yeah, that's probably... Oh, Conte all, all alone to the cross to Pedro, and it's saved. And that's it. Full time, I predicted a Chelsea win today. They duly delivered. Their fans will undoubtedly be pleased with this victory and the performance to go with it. Football 365. Wow. So I, I bet these players got tired towards the end because it's preseason and... They hadn't had too much practice. They weren't really worked in yet. Let's go ahead and move on to the dressing room. Pep talk. I will calmly say uh, we got away with that. For preseason match, that I'm good. I'm pleased. That's a good way to say it. People are happy with that. Good. Defense. Um, pleased with your defense. Secured the win calmly say that they were happy with that i am not happy about the goal but players were pretty tired towards the end i think i'm okay with that midfield you played very well good work please disappointed with your efforts to control impressed um i think i'll go with cautiously say you played well good work conte switched off he's not happy with any of me um, into the attackers, I will say you played well, good work, calmly. Giroud was happy about that, not sure why. Ending the team talk. Fired up atmosphere squad is growing. Hey, we'll take it. All right, continue. Um, that's the end of the next, this first game. Let's go ahead and put a cut in here. Um, I'll come back later, possibly tomorrow or next week, depending on when I have time to continue this. Um, and if we put on, if you guys uh, give a lot of likes and subscribes and comments, positive comments, we'll continue with this season. Look forward to it. I appreciate it. All right.